Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, out here, Memphis, Tennessee, Mississippi River. You can see Mr. Doc Lang behind me has a bunch of slime on him. Doc, how many fish have we caught today? Uh, that's number 50. Number 50. We caught enough that he, he quit for the day. <laughs> yeah. Doc, uh, so we've, we've had the generator running all day, and we just come down here to play fish and have fun. And... It's hot. Uh, it's hot. I want you to look at that. That hook was brand new today, and now it is gold. It has caught so many fish. This is number... No, how many over 30? Oh, we've got uh, six over 30. This is number six over 30. Put him back. Two over 41. Two of them at 41. Those were mine. I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> Those were plenty. And they, they, this they, is... Y'all have killed me on the numbers. Yeah. You so, killed me on the numbers, but... Finished introduction, got Quentin Robbins from Mid-South Outdoor Life. Uh, yeah. If you guys get a chance, make sure you uh, check that channel out. He does a lot of informational stuff, uh, more so Mid-South. Yeah, Mid-South through Midwest, it can yeah. all be applied, yeah. Uh, does a lot of different stuff. You know, here we do, do mainly fishing and talking and informational stuff. He builds campers, eats really nasty fish, uh, and catches good fish. Yeah. So lots, be lots of fishing, some DIY stuff. Yeah. yeah. So just caught that fish, but like I said, we've been out here all day. Been an absolute great day. Doc is wore out. He said he's done. He's just he ain't catching no more fish. I'm just bogo dripping. But uh, we're bumping. You can see Clint behind me. He's uh, he's got her walking bait behind us. Seventy-eight feet. Yeah, we're in about seventy-eight feet. And what we what we got behind us, you can see. Is a long straight stretch. It's a uh, revetment. Uh, it comes down into a nice little mud uh, mud bank, and these fish are coming up real muddy. Um, using Warrior Cat bumping rods, I got a, a Revo Toro S on mine. Uh, you guys have seen. If you want a full tutorial on this bumping rod, reel, make sure you go back check them out in the in my playlist. And you got a. Cast King Capstan. Cast King Capstan? Capstan, which stands for winch, by the way. Oh, nice. He's got a Cast King winch. Let's call it winch. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, Doc is fishing with a, a Black Horse uh, Custom Pro Drifting Rod. Was fishing. But he could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, was fishing. <laughs> this thing is uh, wore Doc out today. Doc and, the series. And an Abu Garcia. Uh, 6500 C3. Uh, 25 years, 26 years old. 26 years old, Doc. Old says. Real. Now I want you to see wow. something. See that number on the back of it now? Now, Doc, I, I asked Doc why he done this yesterday. And Doc, if, if I'm wrong, correct me. But Doc said he's got so many reels and he's had them for such a long time that he puts a number in every single one of them and if something is wrong with this particular reel he puts it in his notes number 12 reel is such and such wrong with it that way he can go back he says every year he cleans them and tear them, uh, tear them down completely tears them down and and completely gets them uh, back in working shape all right folks so to kind of show you guys what we're doing we got about a two and a half foot liter for my sinker five ounce sinker and then we got about a uh, four foot main leader line uh, inline demon dragon down to a seven knot diachi and we're just kind of just going to drop it over the side let it go all the way to the bottom like we said we're fishing about 78 foot of water the anywhere between 70 and 80 foot so take a little while to get down there Once we hit bottom, we just start picking it up, letting it down slow, and then we'll just kind of control our speed with the, the troll motor, and get it matched to the lead size we want, and just wait for a bite. So where we're fishing at, we got about two and a half mile an hour current, and we're slowing it down to about one, 1 1.4, 1 1.5. kind of working it down along the edge. The bites have been kind of different today. Some some of them just tapping, some of them just kind of uh, inhaling it. And 
and then some that just slam it. And some that make Doc go, oh! <laughs> And in case you're wondering, it's about 312 degrees out here. Yeah, yeah it's hot. Nope. Messing? Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What we got here? Uh oh. You got a big Jim Bandy on? It ain't a bluegill. It's not, well, so we got a crappie. I like this one. This one feels like a good candidate. Does it? Feels like it might want its picture taken. Ooh. Free pictures. Picture worthy fish. Picture taken here. Slunger Cat Outdoors. Slunger. 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 I knew you were going to call me on that before I said it. <laughs> See if I can get a double on while you're at. Do it. Bring it on. Let's see that. Okay, you can watch you fight that fish and I'm on my back. And he is, what we got? 71 feet. 71. I like to bring these deep fish up slow. Yes. Yes, most definitely. Now talk to the camera and tell them why. So it's possible you might look at this and say, well, why is he nursing that fish? Well, first of all, we don't know how big it is, so why take a chance breaking it off? But in my opinion, when you're fishing really deep water, you have a certain obligation to be mindful of the fact that that is hard on a fish to bring them up out of deep water. And the slower you can do so, the better. Just like a human doesn't need to come up out of deep water when they're diving too fast. Similar concept for a fish. The better we take care of these fish, the more we'll have an opportunity to catch them later on. This is not going to be a baby. Feels pretty nice. So as he brings him up, what we want to see is air bubbles coming to the surface from the fish. What's that mean, Doc? Well, you know, they're just getting rid of the, of the air that's in them. And, uh, it's, it's the bends. You know, they just suffer from the bends if you bring them up too quick. And at the end of the day, all that really matters is that we keep it tight enough that we got a little bend in the rod, you know, to keep that hook in place. That's all that really matters. There's no race to get it up. Let him swim. And enjoy the fight. Started heading towards the sink for a second. Both of them been going that way. Doc, you want to jump in on this one for a little bit? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I, I caught the boat. <laughs> now, you know, I get a lot of questions about what reels I use and, and uh, you know, a good reel. Oh, oh. A good reel. Oh, oh. I never heard, I never heard <laughs> of that. Double. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, reel. Oh, we just doubled oh, oh. up. That's <laughs> So, you know, I'm using a Revo Toro, but, you know, it, it's a, a very high-priced reel, great reel, uh, you know, if you want to use it to bump, but Quentin is using a Cast King, um, I'm going to call it a winch, but it actually has a, has a what? Capstan. Capstan, which is, he said about a $130 reel. Great, great reel. We get these two fish in, we'll kind of share the specs on them, you know, a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and call it. This is Big Fish of the Trip. Oh! Well, and it, right now he's got it at 41 pounds and he caught two of them. But I thought 40. the 41 only weighed 20, so I wouldn't. Well, let's cut this trolling motor so we can get back there to him, man. Yeah, that's right. I've been fighting the trolling motor. Every time you turn the trolling motor off, they lose 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, this has been, this has been such a great day. Nope. He's wound up. Wound up? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's still a nice fish. It, yeah, it's a nice fish, but it ain't big fish of the trip. His lasso, that, that he's coming in sideways. He's got that line wrapped all the way. He's not getting away. Hmm. There's that little guy. Oh, you got a sinker up on his head. Oh, yeah, he is. He is tied. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got him tied up. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, he's coming in like a planter board. Can he, even, what, can he even open his mouth? No, I tied it into a muzzle. <laughs> Muzzle. Got it. Ah. Well, there it is. It's not turny. No, no, that's a nice fish. Got a bit of a girdle on. <laughs> Look, Look at this lasso. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. We can cut it if you want. Ouch. Oh. Mother of Pearl. Ooh. Kelly whoa, whoa, Clarkson. Whoa, 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 whoa. You all right? Oh, oh we got you. Who's you looking there? Bringing blood. Oh, man, that's one main fish. He didn't like being lasso, did he? No. I think I was going to try to help him. Where's the uh, boat guy? Right here. Want me to lift him up while you're going to do it? Yeah, get the pliers. Yep. Screw, he's a little mean. <laughs> All right. All right. Wow. Oh, Doc Bell got it. Almost got me. Golly. I guess he might have. He was tied up so much he wasn't able to fight much. Did they get the little hook too? Because I had a No, that's hook. gone. How much you weigh? Hey, what we got? 24 pounds. Hold him up with a camera. Another one on the Cylindra Cat Outdoors fishing vessel. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Come up and just cream that thing. Brought it straight to me. Well, that's a good fish. We got plenty of time, dog. Doc's coming out of retirement. I'm, get, <laughs> I'm getting the old Boko grip ready. <laughs> oh. Don't have to reel. Don't have to reel. Yards <laughs> from us down river, probably still tumbling. Oh, we're doubled up. Oh, that one's a pretty hard, too. Did he? Yeah, it's tumbling like a small fish, but it hit hard. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the motor then. All right. Folks, this is a way, good way to end the day right here. Sun's going down.
good friends in the boat and good fish on the line. We've caught so many fish today, it's been unreal. It's been one of those one of those special days, you know. One of the days that you can reflect on when you go out on the water and you don't do what you thought you were supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when you make mistakes. These are the days that make those bad ones. Oh yeah. Yep, another kind <laughs> 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 gave me a bad thing. <laughs> That's in the 30s. That's number seven. Kind of feel a little silly holding this one. 30, uh, 32. Yeah. <laughs> if I hold this one really close to the camera. <laughs> Folks, listen. If you get a chance, come out the Mississippi River. This The fishery out here is just unreal. Find you some good friends to go with. Number 51 and 52. 51 and 52. Find you a good slow current. Do some bumping. A blast. It, it's a blast. Quentin, it's lined up. Thanks for coming out, Doc. <laughs> As always. It's been a great time. Quentin, been a great time, buddy. <laughs> Folks, we're going to wrap it up. Go find us some supper. Find Doc a bed. And a shower. <laughs> a shower. We'll see you guys later. Take care. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>